Okay, so when it comes to dates, everyone says be comfortable with who you are and be yourself, right? I mean, it totally didn't work for me. I'm clearly missing something. I think it was the hair. It was the hair, right? But in my last video, I asked you for your dating stories and I picked three of my favorites. Wow, some of these are worse than the time I tried to have a whirlwind Hollywood romance. So, I was wondering if I could see you again. Okay, sorry, could you just say that again, but this time holding this? Okay, action. So first one. Third date, a little drunk after drinking solidly for two hours, we decided to go for dinner. Date being a true gentleman decided to pull the chair out for me. Unfortunately, I didn't see it. We've all been there. Oh, it's a lovely place. <laughs> Ow. Okay, on our first date, headed over to a cool bar. Turned out to be a breakdancing night. Date turned out to be a great dancer until he twisted his neck whilst twirling on the floor on his head. Not the best start to the night, but at least he was a great dancer, eh? Something which I can totally relate to. After a few hours of drinking, we decided to go for Sambuca shots to end the night. Unfortunately, he'd never tried it before. One burnt lip, red angry face, date over. I feel like the moment you describe someone as having a red angry face, it's likely the date hasn't gone too well. So let me know if you're free next week for coffee. Yeah? Thank you so much for submitting your stories, and thank you to Match for sponsoring this video, and who've put on this campaign all about learning from your dating experiences. Have a very Merry Christmas, enjoy the holidays, and I hope you're well, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! Scene one, take one, the typewriter. The bus driver. The crystal ball. Blogger not really knowing what to do with herself and embarrassing herself on the internet. Hey! Excuse me, but you must be a snowflake because I've fallen for you. Hey! <laughs> oh my God.